All right, folks. Uh, so here's the concept of uh, negative acceleration. So um, remember when we accelerate? So let's let's pretend that a car is stopped, right, for a second here. Uh, so its uh, speed is uh, zero, and when we accelerate, let's say uh, a is equal to 2.0 meters per second squared. What does that mean? That means that two meters per second of speed. That, that much speed will be gained every second. So if they were to do this for five seconds, let's say, so if they do this for five seconds, we times it by that, 2.0, um, then their final speed will be 10 meters per second. Uh, that's what's going to happen, okay? So uh, that's all that means, right? So now if, if with negative speed, if we do something like, let's say we have a V is equal to, 10 meters per second and we have the car and it's 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 moving along you know it's going pretty fast and it starts to accelerate let's say at negative negative 2 meters per second squared what does that mean so what does that mean that means that we're going to subtract 2 meters per second of speed so that much speed we're going to subtract that every second so we're going to take this much speed away from the object every every second that we're accelerating we're taking away two meters per second that's the only difference so instead of adding and gaining speed we're losing speed it's pretty much the same thing it's just a negative sign is all it is so no need to worry about it let's pull out the eraser and erase this i like using the eraser and the clear screen it makes me feel like i'm on a chalkboard all right so uh let's get the pencil out and let's solve this problem a rocket is traveling at 400 meters per second when it needs to slow down so it's backwards thrusters turn on so it's already going that speed okay so it's going 400 meters per second and it turns its backwards thrusters on to slow down turning on acceleration at negative 20. now if they didn't there's ma there's physics problems where they don't tell you the negative and you have to put the negative on it okay um, i'm going to try not to do that to you but you would know because you're like a rocket traveling at 400 when it needs to slow down and so if it's going to slow down you, it's going to have to use whatever acceleration it does it has to be negative uh so uh, i'm i'm putting it in the problem i'll try to do that all the time is just put a negative for you so that you can understand that but uh, there are problems that don't tell you that so there's the acceleration but it's negative let's get that negative in there and it does it for 10 seconds so we have a time 10 seconds and what do they want to know how much distance did it travel during those 10 seconds? So they want to know the displacement during that time. Uh, and of course, uh, we do have that uh, equation right here that has all of that stuff. It's the only one that has all of it. Uh, so if we put in uh, the delta x, let's put in delta x. Oh, actually, delta x is, is nice because we don't know it. And it's our, this, this equation already solves for it, which is nice. We don't even need to do any algebra, really. We just need to do some adding and stuff like that. Uh, initial velocity, 400. Uh, times the time, 10 seconds, plus, because remember the equation looks like this, I'll write it out here, uh, so you have it in front, uh, you take the original speed, times the time, and then we're going to add 1 half, times whatever it accelerates at, times the time squared, so we're going to times it by the, one, add the 1 half, times the A, we'll say, negative 20, and then uh, T is 10, but it's squared, right, so it's a 10 right there. And that's squared. All right, so let's see if we can slap and do a couple of these at the same time. We know that 400 times 10 is 4,000, and we know that uh, one half times negative 20 is negative 10, a half of 20, correct? And then uh, 10 squared is 100, 10 times 10. Okay, so this is going to be a negative thousand. And at this point, I'm just going to a plus negative is just a negative, right? And so we'll just leave it there and x and this becomes 3000 delta x there we go so the distance is 3000 meters that's our answer right there and um that's done pretty much like that the only difference from between the before is just that there's a negative in there because this thing was slowing down so this did not help it actually takes away see think about what this part of the equation does what is this part of the equation you know this one right here what does that do? You take your original speed and times it by how long this is all happening, and it gives you a distance. So if it stayed this speed the whole time, 
So if it just stayed that speed the whole time during this time, then it would travel this far. If you speed up, if you speed up, then we add this distance because you sped up, so it's going extra distance. In our case, we slow down, so we're subtracting out distance that it would have traveled. If it would have stayed that original V, you know, the 400 meters per second, it would have traveled this far. But we're taking away distance because it slowed down, so it didn't really stay that speed the whole time. So this, this little chunk of the equation actually kind of figures that out for you, like how much you need to add or subtract. This section of the equation adds or subtracts uh, that distance for you automatically, uh, depending whether you're speeding up or slowing down. All right, so that's the answer. And uh, try out a couple practice problems using some negative, uh, uh, negative accelerations now, okay?